All right, everybody, what's going on? Let's uh, check out this new indie game. Uh, this got pointed out to me the other day. Um, it's a pixel art Zelda clone. Um, it's supposed to be kind of similar to like the Oracle games um, or some of the old 2D Zeldas, um, which is, as everybody knows, right up my fucking alley. So uh, it seems like a pretty good uh, game to give a try. Uh, it's fifth came out, I think, Thursday, uh, made by one developer, uh, Max Mraz, uh, and was 15 bucks on Steam. Um, so we're gonna see how it is. Um, that's the plan for today, I think. Uh, depending on how this goes, we may or may not do a uh, Zelda Enemizer um, afterwards, but we're gonna see how it goes first. Um, assuming I don't get any obnoxious alerts. Okay. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this um, setup with this game is if I, because I'm playing on PC, and if it loses focus, it uh, the music stops playing and the video uh, in the background kind of pauses, so the video source in OBS doesn't pick it up real well. So there may be some f goofiness with that. But uh, so like if I click into OBS to like change scenes or something, it drops the audio. So, not ideal for streaming, but uh, there's worse problems in the world. So, getting my beverages uh, ready to go. Um, that being said, just wanted to get that out there. All right, I think we are ready to go to give this a uh, give this a try of first impressions, and we'll see how it is. Um, I'm not typically big on pixel art as an art style, but I do like indie games and I do like uh, Zelda clones. So let's uh, see how it goes. This is also the first time I'm broadcasting this in 2K, so uh, see how that goes as well. YouTube is bitching about it a little bit, but Twitch seems perfectly happy. Uh, this is also my first time broadcasting with this headset, so volume and all kinds of stuff will be probably goofy. I'm still using my same uh, Snowball mic, so hopefully everything should be set up right and it's just my volume. Alright, so classic Zelda tradition. We are in bed. Three hearts. Is that a magic bar up there? Ooh! We have a roll. The action button and the roll are ooh, the same. It looks like your sister Linden has been reading the book she borrowed from Hazel. She's learning about growing barley and hops. Shouts to Hazel. <laughs> you can even pull kind of like in uh, Link to the Past. That's interesting. Use spacebar to interact with the world. I'm using a controller, my dude. So what, I wasn't sleeping in the master bedroom? This is some bullshit. Crap. Oh, okay, I can move that. Your dad has been trying to work out a budget for the tavern. There's a whole bunch of scribbling out. Alright, so there's... An icon down in the bottom that kind of tells you what you can interact with. What's that note on the bed it looks like? There's a reminder you've written yourself. Remember to open the menu and save the game from time to time. What did you mean by that? Alright, so we're just going to be fourth wall breaking right off the jump. downstairs odd sound effects mallow Tilia guess what that flock of egrets that was pestering us at the pier has moved on 
Good morning, Dad. So my dad's bartender. Got it. I'm not mourning them at all. They were a nuisance. Hey, if you have some time today, could you run up the hill and get a bottle of whiskey out of the secret storage cave? I think I can. Juglin's had a poor month with the fishing, and I want to give him something. Not a problem, Dad. Thanks, little Bell. The cave is on the north side of the island. Write it down in your quest log in case you forget. Quest log updated. There are some names, dates, amounts, whatever Dad writes when he works on the tavern's budget. Also, doodles of ships. Chores this week. Sweeping dishes, balance ledger. Hey, little gulls. I know I haven't been keeping you on your sword training like you'd like, but once I get the paperwork all caught up for this month, I promise we'll get back to it. Did you get that bottle of whiskey yet? Nope. Hey, it's my little sister. I thought you died in your sleep. You've been in bed so long. What is with the adventure games and sleepy protagonist? Hey, it's my older sister. I thought you were busy being responsible and figuring out how to run the tavern better. Haha, <laughs> yes, I have. Hey, the new stout you started brewing is really doing well. You're going to be... You're doing your part around here, too. I mean, Hazel helped out a lot with the brewing. I'm better at fighting off monsters that attacked us when we were gathering herbs. <coughs> Maybe you're better with a sword than a stout, but I'm glad the three of us are making this work. Can you do the dishes? <laughs> no. That needs me to go get some strange secret store. Strange. I don't know where I get that from. Out to the secret storage cave to get something. Will that take all day? Who knows? I definitely won't have time to do dishes, though. Hell yeah, I ain't doing dishes. Fuck you. That roll is intense. <coughs> Alright, you can tell I haven't been, like, speaking out loud. Uh, Alright, so what's pause do? Press D to open your menu. You can scroll left and right between different subscreens. You can save your game. Set a subscreen. How about you... Okay, so analog works. Okay, so left bumper is the menu. That's a little weird. I'll leave that on for now. Sure. This is, this actually looks better on stream, I think, than it does actually on my 4K monitor. That's my own fault for using a 4K monitor for something like this. But, okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm never going to remember what button that is. Alright, secret storage cage to the north is where we're going, so naturally I'm going to go south. Boy, Celia, your dad giving you any more training with your sword today? Probably not. He's been busy doing the tavern budget. Well, don't fret none. He's a fine volunteer neighborman. He'll have you trained up to take his place there one day. Oh, that's the guy I'm getting whiskey for. Alright, cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Will it leave magic medicine? Try eating the willow leaves? Sure, why not? Alright, I guess I'm just actually going to head north because that's where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, that's where I came out of. I'm an idiot. Can I steal your carrots, dog? It's instructions for how to identify mandrake plants. Apparently their root is quite valuable. Let's see. 
Blue purple flowers. Matrix will rise from the ground and easily kill the careless botanist to take care. I kinda can't get to anything. It's weird. Wait, what? <laughs> Why can I lift up old flowers and throw them? Why are they not giving me rupees of some kind? I feel like this game isn't uh, being accurate if it's not giving me stuff. You found a burdock root. One. Um. Yay, I guess. Is this shovel? Okay. Can't pick up the shovel. I feel like I should have a sword before I go to, you know, the secret cave. Malice secret storage cave. This way. Don't tell anyone. This is where Dad said the whiskey should be. How did he get past this bush? I'll just cut it down with my... Oh, wait. Did I leave my sword at Hazel's last night? I should go find her. What you doing at Hazel's last night, dog? Alright, rolling down the steps is way faster than walking down the steps. Are you Hazel? Hazel! Telia, I came by the tavern hours ago. Did you just wake up? Anyway, I have something for you. Yeah! You got your sword. Your dad gave this to you a long time ago when you said you wanted to defend your island like him. Press the attack button to use it. You left it at my house last night. Is your dad teaching you any volunteer navy stuff today? How to skin a monster? Nah, I'm just running an errand for him, getting some whiskey out of the secret storage cave. Ah, well, it's a good thing I gave you your sword. There's a big witch hazel bush in the way of the cave. If you cut it down, be sure to collect its flowers. They can be used to make pots and stuff. Maybe you can make one that'll wake you up in the mornings. Ha 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 ha. Ba, 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 ba. Go get your whiskey and then see you at the boat over to Bracken Beach. Cool. Alright, so I'm assuming I need to equip. Or do I? Seems like it just auto equips weapons. Alright, I'm good with that. Right, and B is attack. Alright. That is a interesting sound. You found a branch with witch hazel flowers. Dude, what is with my fucking alerts? fucking seconds. Right. You found a berry. Eat it to restore half a heart so you can use healing items from the menu. Alright, cool. I hate the exertion sound. Was that an earthquake? Explosion? I'm glad it didn't happen while I was walking across, but it sounded like some kind of cave-in. Back by the entrance. Well, I think there's another way out deeper in. Yeah, deeper in is always the way out. Use the action button to read signs. Use your sword to interact with switches like this. Swap!
You can use the action button to grab objects and then walk forward to push them. Some job objects can be pulled as well. It's mildly annoying you have to actually hit the button, but press the action button to roll to avoid enemies. Getting used to the... Controls is a little bit awkward. And remembering which button is which is the actual awkward thing. I never realized there was an old shrine to the ocean goddess way back here. This has probably been here hundreds of years. Neat. Alright, jumping in the water, half-hearted damage. Because your dumbass can't swim. Whoa! Okay. Of course, some big monster is lurking between me and the way out. Well, I want to join the Volunteer Navy, and taking care of these gross things is part of that. I can handle this. You can do it, Telia. Whoa! kind of decent on this attack, it just feels weird. You jump down from some ledges, just walk towards them. Smash. More of these bad boys. Whatever the hell they do. Bonfires. the shit. So glad you're safe. I tried to block off the tavern with barrels, but they were throwing bombs. I don't know what they came for, but Dad ran off to fight them. I guess it's his duty as a volunteer Navy man. He's down at the pier. Volunteer Navy man. Pirates with a white hourglass on their flag attacked the village. They raided an old ruin up on the mountain and lit everything up. Hazel's house is burning awful. Your sister Lyndon is fine, and your dad, he's at the pier, go soon. My dad is Abe Lincoln. You need to be fine somehow. You've got your father's wits about you. My wits. That's excellent. They're excellent wits. What happened? Is everyone all right? Pirates flying a white hourglass on their flag attack. They raided that old ruin up on the mountain. Most of us got away, but but what? Hazel was up on the mountain collecting herbs. The pirates threw her in a barrel and rolled her off with whatever they took from the ruin. Oh, so they kidnapped her. We have to get some help then. <laughs> I am the help. I'm a volunteer navy man. It's my duty to take care of this island. Yours too if you want to join some day, but... You're not leaving, though. You have to teach me how to fight monsters and pirates and run the tavern. I'm sorry, little gull. You'll be fine. They've just sailed away. It shouldn't take me more than a week or two to catch up and get Hazel. I'll be back home before you realize it. You and Lyndon just watch the tavern for two days. Six months later? The fuck? Save it. Fine.
So my sister's OCD. talking to myself up for a couple months now if Hazel and Dad aren't back yet then well I'm gonna bring them back somehow it's not just because I make you do the dishes every night is it <laughs> letting you keep the tavern running since Dad left has been inspiring for everyone but I anyway Jugland is meeting me soon so he's taking you to Goat's Head Harbor to look for Leith huh this font is awful it's actually way harder to read on the screen than like I'm looking in the stream. It's way easier on the stream. I know the pirates put a white hourglass flag or a white hourglass on their flag. Seems like enough to get started. You'll find them. Remember to get enough sleep. Staying at the inn will heal you, but you can always come home and get sleep here too. Hey, if you're going to be passive-aggressive like that, get out of my tavern and go drink seawater. Get out of my tavern, bitch. find old Mallow, eh? I'm sure he's fine and a good reason for being away so long. Well, you got there, champ? It's a really nice carving of a, a deer? A rabbit? I want to steal all your stuff, but none of you has any stuff. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I just need to go like the way I'm supposed to. It'd be helpful if I hit the right button ever. Alright, Celia, you all set to head out? Do you have your sword? Anchors away, bitches. The ocean? That's the one. Time we bring Dad and Hazel back home. Alright, go to head home. No pit of scoundrels, but someone in the Sodden Comorant's Tavern might have seen the pirates. Now take this sea chart. When you need to sail back to Limestone, this will help. We want you to hit a shoal or anything. You found a sea chart of Limestone Island. Used to allow someone to navigate there without issues. Sailors working on the docks here drink at this sodden cormor cormorant. <laughs> I'm gonna call that the SO. Um, including the man who owns the warehouse and at the end of the docks, which is weird because beetle eyed Bartholomew 
is a brewer himself. I heard the tavern owner was looking for him. Something about money? I'm not super interested in all your nonsense. I am interested in that chest. Five crowns. I believe that would be cash. You wanna buy some crabs? There's nothing shady about them. Shady crabs? I'm just secretive because I don't have my paperwork filled with the Merchant's Guild. Can't afford to. Alright, well. Didn't actually let me buy any crabs, so. It's telling me about buying shit, but I can't actually buy shit. Controls are not editable. Right, I can flip them in Steam, but I'll get used to it. What the fuck? Found some coral ore. Use this rare material. Blacksmiths can strengthen your equipment. Cool. You get a lot of knockback. Like, even when you're the one making contact. Friends. Like you go flying backwards. <laughs> Watch out for smugglers. Not that we town guards can't handle them, but they can. Way to flex it. Pop horn armor. Alright, I'm sure I don't have enough money to actually buy anything, but... I don't know your first name, but it looks like your middle name is Danger. How about upgrading your sword or bow if Coral War? Improve your sword or bow for 50 crowns. Your sword was improved. Now it deals more damage. Alright. I'm in. What did that improve it to? Like, two? Two. <laughs> Constant orders of helmets and shields for town guards. That's all I get around here these days. Uh, that's what the volunteer navy you've got. You improve your armor for 50 crowns. Alright, so I need more money. Either somebody's printing something, or my printer's lost its fucking mind. Something is printing. Crushing <sighs> pharmacy. Blah, blah, blah. Shady pot salesman. Maybe like an empty bottle. I could see that being useful if I wanted to carry some water with me. Maybe put a bug into. What? Why a bottle? Why a bottle would have to be magic to use it like that? All right. Shots at Zelda's magic bottles. Shots at the fact that I can't read. It looks like it's the way out of town, which I don't think we want to do yet till we find the tavern. Town guard's house. Do list that says get stronger. That's the only item. You know he skips like that. Yeah, we're straight up gold. This is a boutique of rare hand selected items from across the world. We cater to a specific clientele, which, well, not you. Shirts. Statues. 
Blimar for a refund. His sculptures are too artistic for goat's head clients. Can I not go in the back door? Me and my friends were exploring with no intention to graffiti the giant statue at all, but then I got angry and swallowed a kid. He was trying to climb its knee when it happened. I think the statue has a ticklish knee. I hate being tickled. <sighs> it ate Clyde. Well, fucking Clyde. But seriously, where the fuck is the bar? Let's go back over this way. I don't even know if this is all connected. Uh, Alright, we're back to like where the armor shop is. And I don't have like a better map. Alright, so I can't like click and make that work better. Looks like a library, not the bar. Steamy love letters. Halty talty men. Oh, you're interested in learning about what us merchants do here? We're really responsible for keeping all of Goat's Head orderly. We're using the power of economics. I really don't care about any of this. Crans, if you'll bring him in. I have a plan, a great plan, but will you help take down the Phantom Squid? Sure. Excellent. There aren't many merchants from Guild who haven't already attacked. Who haven't already been attacked. I want you to go down to Rylesdorf. He has a shop near the market against the cliffs. Tell him I sent you, then go into his office, hide, and wait for the Phantom Squid to arrive. When the squid shows up, apprehend him. I don't think he knows what apprehend means if I'm destroying him, but okay. But seriously, where the F is the tavern? Shit. 
the movement isn't like super crisp, so it's hard to like line up exactly where you want to go to attack. Twenty cram. It's enough to upgrade my armor. well nestled among the tree. The water looks clear and cool. What will you do? Drop a few coins in. No. Oh. Who would drink from my well to test their worthiness? The rain that fills it is the tears of the forgotten sky. How the hell can you forget the sky? Wait, to do what now? Due to my Ghost powers, I can tell you are a goodly person. You are worthy to be my champion. That's a ghost power? Uh, look, thanks for the compliment, I guess, but I'm not trying to be anyone's champion. I am a hero of the past. My name is Harem, my champion. Set my regrets at ease. I failed to withstand the Sea King in my life. My people and those I held closest paid with their lives for my failures. And now my tomb is overrun with monsters summoned from the abyss by the Sea King in his life. Please purify my resting place. Take this key, cleanse my tomb, west of Goat's Head. Wait, what am I doing? You received an old stone key. The ghost implies it'll unlock Thrush Fort. Alright, Ghost McDick phase. This is side quest city over here. Ouch, did not even see that. Chamomile flower. Low health beep. we should Gerald so I'm a geologist I've been studying this type of rock all month and I've come to the conclusion that the cracks they possess cause them to be weak my, hypoth Ugh. my hypothesis is that explosions have caused them to break apart entirely you can trust me on this I'm a geologist alright so bomb the crack rocks got it Demon goat. <sighs> okay, that's nice. It starts you right back there. You know, rolling into the demon goat instead of uh, swinging a sword is, you know. Don't get hit by that. Holy hell. Alright, 
you just can't see in that corner. out of this corner, but... Stop panicking. You're not bad at video games. Oh, I can reflect those. That's interesting. This is a stupid, stupid game. Got you a job. Me fishing spot has been taken over by beasts and left me by a carrot stash there. A man who takes his carrots seriously. Now I'm a man who takes his carrots seriously. Fuck this. <laughs> this I can't abide. I'll pay you 80 crowns. Clear it out. Fishing spot is just east of here. Little island, lots of carrots and monsters. Yeah, great. Where the Fuck is the fucking tavern. Holy hell, it took this long. Fishing spot along with all the carrot guy. Let it be known the merchant's guild seeks an adventure and destroy the menace to Phantom Squid. I already found that too. Seems like the type who can handle some odd jobs from dangerous folk, folk off and hang notices, volunteer navy, blah blah blah. What is this obsession with the fucking volunteer navy, dog? Used to be a player at my shelf. Plundered out of Port Yeromoth Island. Ended up splitting from my crew when they joined the pirate council. But I wouldn't be a servant to those overambitious dogs. Think they can rule the seas like an ancient. Alright, I really gotta stop with the voices. Ghost in town. Construction worker, Canadian guy in a cape. Leia, spelled interesting. Uh, 
Uh, well, you look like you came here with a purpose. What's on your mind, kid? I'm tracking crew of pirates who attacked my hometown. I heard this is a good place to ask about them. They play white hourglass. I've heard of the hourglass crew. They like explosives. Hey, any of you drunks know about the hourglass crew? Hourglass. That's two stacked triangles, yeah? I was standing around Spruce Head and saw some smoke. This is a while ago, mind, but there was a ship of triangles on its sails. Come to think of it, they must have plundered Spruce Head Shrine. Might look for clues there. Spruce Head is southwest past Lotus Shawl. You know what? Let's add it to your map. You've seen that in the pause menu, right? You know you aren't the first one in the volunteer navy colors who's hunting these pirates. A tall man with a beard was asking everyone in Ballast Harbor about them. Seemed to hear something from a man selling sea charts. You might find a way to Ballast Harbor and seek out the fellow selling new sea charts. Ballast Harbor is a pirate market, so I don't know exactly where it is to give directions. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got the pirates looting shrine out of Spruce Head. Uh, west of here, and someone who's seen them in Ballast Harbor. Sounds like we got a couple of leads to follow. I'll lead you to it then. Mapping out old tunnels underneath the city. This town was back to the days of Murian Kingdom, and it's just been stacks and stacks of buildings. So down at the bottom, a whole bunch of good stuff got left and forgotten. But also, there's a bunch of monsters down there too, and we don't mess with monsters. We know our limits. They stopped at fighting monsters. We need a volunteer navy person to clear out the beasts. You can keep anything you find that you want as payments. So are you interested? Sign me up. Alright. I'm guessing that's that well. Uh, shadow of the wrong, wrong layer there. Assuming that's supposed to be a shadow. Bug! Hey, the secret ancient tunnels are down here. Some pirates have used these tunnels to sneak in and around Goat's Head Harbor in the past, but we're really interested in who used them before that. They date back to the days of the Murian Kingdom before the big flood, so there's some archaeology to do. Unlock the door for you. The main problem is the big monster. You know, when you see it, get rid of that guy and we're square. You can help yourself with whatever you find. Monstrous Geode. Uh, I'm assuming it's a key door. Yeah, right. so this is kind of our first dungeon then. Fucking rat! Let's continue without saving, do. Actually did anything different. That isn't. All right, whatever. The menu button being left bumper is fucking weird. Alright, so you're not on a half tile at all. Alright, but you can break their projectiles. I mean, at least death isn't too punishing, at least at this point, but... Holy shit, it's... And the hitboxes and stuff is just absurd. Keep 
plenty of healing items, though. You know, if I don't stop hitting the wrong button, I'm gonna have a bad time. Hit the... I can't, like, mentally at all hit the right button. Like, it's just too much from Zelda. Alright, let me... Pause. Let me see if I can bring up some Steam menu action and, uh, swap these buttons. So I'm going to throw up a quick be right back screen while I see if I can figure that out. I think we're back. We'll see how unbelievably awful that is, but I flipped the buttons around in Steam, so hopefully they're... Oh, now they're weird in the menu. 
Alright, so... The menu buttons are weird, but the game menu... The game buttons are better. That's probably better. The beer menu is the real important one. Let's try this again. Maybe. Okay. We should be good. Mike back? Yeah, okay. Mike's back up. Mike is back up. Um, so what if I just straight this way? Much better. Alright, I'm still bad, but that's much better. Ten bombs. Yeah. I'm sure, that'll be helpful at some point. This would be pretty typical first dungeon shenanigans. I like how stuff stays on the screen though. Ouch. This smells like a boss room. Big ass spider. What is this? A Dungeons and Dragons game? Coral ore. Is that it? Because that was way easier than fucking. Demon goat. Just the little spiders? But anyway, thanks. We've got some archaeology to do now. Yeah, I bet you do. Alright, so, cleared a little mini dungeon. Let's go here. Hi, customer. Great. This is the June Berry Inn. We have one room open at the moment, the end of the hall. The other room isn't open, it's locked. The last guest accidentally took the key with them, and, uh, well, anyway. Want to stay? 30 crowns. Um, no. Not to recover one heart, to be honest. Store, liquor store, gun store, upgrade my shit. Crew sword or your bow for 50 crowns. Sword. And I should have enough left to get some more damage too. Or, uh, more armor. Alright, so it should be what? 3 and 2? 3 and 3. Oh, yeah, sorry, at 2. Cool. Alright. So that should help a little bit. Take a little bit less of a fucking beating. Let's go back to maybe that demon goat cave and see what's good. Was this way? Oh, and I can go to that other cave now that I got some bombs.
let's see what we got in this one too. Yeah. Okay, that's just uh, Mr. Ghost Portal. Do, 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 do you have it? Monster goes. Right, so we need to go south was the area with the bombable blocks. And, yeah, this way past that guy. Alright, I know where we're going. just take forever to go off. <laughs> Your hit detection is bullshit. take that. I need a little bit more cash, but... Uh, do I want to try Goat Demon again? Uh, what is that? A whole damn cherry tree? No! Where did you come from? Apple heals too hard. these bombs give me time to drink, right? Now, do you walk through the log or over the log? I'm guessing, it looks like it should be through, but I'm guessing it's over. Yeah. Five loaves of burdock bread made from eight coins and traditionally wrapped in leaves to keep it fresh. You need to recover five hearts. All right. My ass doesn't even have five hearts, but okay. Sweet, my dude's carrots. Poetry scribbled down here. It's an ode to root vegetables. It's not very good. I'm shocked. Alright, my dude. Give me that cash. Your carrots are safe. I'm gonna use that money to upgrade my shit. Uh, this is a separate way. Alright, let's go... Fuck with Goat Boy over here. We got more armor. Let's try this again with less distraction, please. Okay, I, I, that was actually somewhat intentional. I wanted to uh, see if dodge rolling, like if you had invulnerability frames while dodge rolling, you don't. can't dodge roll like through those projectiles. Fuck. That was just poor, poor, poor effort by me. 
Okay, um, let's get serious here, because this is kind of embarrassing. Why does it shoot that purple shit at me? Exploit. Don't shoot that purple shit at me, that's all I ask. smoke. Yes! Bye, goat demon. The reward in here better be sick. Cursed temple. Bell of the cursed god. The enemies of the bell ringers are strengthened. That sounds terrible. Um, the enemies of the bell ringer are strengthened. This sounds like a terrible effing idea. Let's say it first. Let's drink first. Oh god. Literally. You who have rung the cursed bell and approached the god consumed in the abyss, will you take my power as well as the burden that accompanies it? The strength of your enemies will grow. That is the ringing bell. Do you accept this? Sure? Curse accepted. Enemies grow stronger. Ring the bell again to remove the curse. Okay, why would I want that then? I'm super confused. so hard to see if you're not looking for them. Seashell temple? something Prince song? Hey, it's every Zelda game ever made, okay? I, I know that. Okay, so I can put a bomb on this switch and hit it, or I can hit, do this and drop down that hole. Definitely some Zelda shit. Looks like the lighthouse is lit now. This is 
that what I was supposed to be doing here? You're welcome. That's for my stash of carrots. I was there, took care of it. I know not to pay you folks in carrots now, though the Lord knows why you prefer crowns here. 80 crowns! I definitely just want to go back to the armor shop. I don't want to talk to you, I want to roll past you. Thank you. I think I want more defense. Right, that's not an option. Right. Um, alright, as far as quests and shite. Phantom Squid, got it. No. That one. Nobody will ever suspect me to be waiting behind this bookcase. As for the magic squid, all right, I'm from the village of Crabhook. It's a small fishing town to the west, but Amon despises my people. While we once traded freely with Goat's Head, he's convinced merchants to fake records to cheat us. He's passing laws to tax us into starvation, and my people uh, are struggling to make a living. I won't pretend I'm perfect, but my cause is a good one. Will you help me? And... Taxation is done. Say I decide to help you out. What do you need? I'm going to be meeting with other people on the Merchant Skilled Board. I have support, but they can't make changes while Amon is in control. From my nighttime walks, I know Amon has been stealing money from the Guild, and I believe there are papers to prove it in the Guild Headquarters, but someone who looks like me trying to poke around in there, I'll get caught. But you, you want me to sneak into the Merchant's Guild and find evidence to prove this guy's crook? I can take a look. 
I can take a look. I have no idea where the fuck the merchant's guild is, but hey, why not? Bartholomew's totally legitimate warehouse. That's that one I was in earlier, right? Yeah. Nothing new there. So I'm just gonna start mashing buttons till it tells me I did that quest, not gonna lie. Red, green, yellow, yellow, red. Red, green, yellow, yellow, red. Red. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Red? Got it. Yo, how about you let me take some of that gold off your hands? It's true, I'm not great at math. You got a potion of magic restoration. Drink uh, this to create, uh, recover magic power immediately. Drafts of trade agreements. <laughs> Reminder to berate his assistant more often. Solid. Some instructions here from Amon to the town guards. He's having them cook him waffles for breakfast Saturday morning. That's usually the guard's job, but hey, whatever you say, champ. Alright, let's roll our way back to Squid Boy. Keep rolling, 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 uh. Get out of the way! Now we can start dismantling the structure that's been keeping crap hooks people from succeeding. I'm going to... Well, well, well. So the squid man is just another low light from crab hook. I should have guessed. Well, I did guess. But now I've proven it. People from crab hook are lawless and foolish. Law and order, bro. Law and order. I followed this woman you hired to burgle my papers. And burgle them I did. Amon, your time abusing the people of uh, Crab Hook is over. The travel restrictions, the taxes, the way you've kept the fruits of our hard work in your own hands. I can prove it, and I have friends in the guild who will fa force you out. It doesn't matter what you can prove, fool. By right of the barbell battle... Boy, ow? I control the town's guards. I'm unstoppable. I am invincible. 
This isn't good. The town's guards are, well, they have this code passed down from long ago. Is this going to explain the phrase barbell battle boyal? Fuck's sakes. At any time, someone can challenge the barbell brutes, as they're called, to a context of strength. The winner of the battle has the right to lead the guard, and it's called Boyal because they're all boys. It's dreadful. I hate it, but if you can just beat them up and you're in charge, why don't you challenge them and take over? I already had years ago, and I lost. One can only challenge the brutes once in their life. And I'll go beat them up and tell them that they have to stop taking orders. Oh, Jesus, this is so dumb! I appreciate this. Find them in the building next to the river along the north edge of town. I'll meet you at the Merchant Skill building after. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Give me this fish. Samsung, you're drunk. Um, that's the inn. I should probably rest up at the inn. What do I got? 50? Fine, whatever. Sleepy, sleepy. You guys are all working for Amon. I'm here to challenge whoever to fight or whatever it is. The uh, the barbell rattle royal thing. So when I win, the crab hook people can be saved and you won't work for Amon. That thing. Ah! <laughs> uh, this is so dumb. Alright, girl, you do that. Why don't you go fight your way to the boss and show him your power? Ouch. There's a manifesto. Is it a song? It goes, We are the barbell brutes, rah rah. Enemies quake in their shoes, rah rah. Shouldn't it be boots? Are we weak? No. That's what we're not. We're so strong, we can lift rock. Wah. -ha. No, 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 no. Guard captain. Well, I could hear you beating up the rest of the barbell brutes from all the way up here. I didn't beat them up, I killed them. They're dead. I stabbed them with a fucking sword. From all the way up here. What brings you straight through my guards? I heard you guys work for Amon, so I'm stooping down to fight in your boy battle thing to make you stop it. Interesting. I don't want to rumble then? Alright, boss fight. I mean, rumble through some negotiation? What? I thought this was going to be a boss fight. <sighs> I mean, rumble through some negotiations. Eamon de designated the three strongest guards to be his standards for a challenge, but you've already beat them. By the ancient code, I hereby ordain you as the captain of the...
Ugh, well, alright. Stop doing anything Eamon told you to. He's a jerk and go apologize to Aster and the crab hook merchants. Done. Honestly, I knew Eamon was bad news, but what could we have done? The guard code compelled us to follow him. That's absolutely stupid. As captain, I abolish the code. Wait, wait, but actually, I'm just disbanding the town guard totally. You guys can have your club back when you prove you can be helpful. <laughs> your club. That's not, uh, well, uh, well, captain, you're definitely the one with the inner strength. Vice captain. He changed his title. This is so fucking stupid. I think the movement tech part of this will be cool if I like decide to speedrun this game because I'm drunk or something. It's like timing your rolls out. I don't know why I decided to keep going the long way there, but whatever. Oh, I was supposed to go to the fucking merchant guild. Whoops. to remove me as the chairman and allow some bum from Crabhook into the Merchant's Guild? What is this? Aster showed us proof you've been stealing from the guild and he's convinced me, for one, that he's a good man. It's time we let the people of Crabhook have a chance to prove themselves also, without all the rules you've made to keep them from succeeding. You'll regret this. I was the best leader the guild ever had. As hard as Aster had to work for us to realize Crabhook wasn't being treated fairly, no, you weren't. Welcome. You fucking welcome. Tila, Tilia, Tilia. Thank you for your part in helping the voices of Crabbook have a say in how the town runs. I actually have a seat in the Merchant's Guild now, and I notice Ammon has earmarks of money to pay for my assassination. Sick. The phantom squid still might have to be at large if it weren't for you or help. So consider this payment for ending his activities. 200 crowns, holy shit! Goddamn right. Capitalism always wins. Friends. Alright, let's go see if I can get some more shit upgraded. And then uh, let's go east with our Mr. Ghostface. His little side quest. Armor, please. So nothing there. Sword. Book. Alright, any more coral. Alright, so I'm maxed out at the momento. Stonefall Crossroads to Yarrow and Oak Yarrow Mouth and Oakhaven. South, Force of Tides, Lotus Shoal, East Goat Harbor. I can't cut the grass because it's even a Zelda game. What the shit? Alright. The visibility is ass. The bird is a jerk. Key for this. This is so fucking Link's Awakening. Alright. Yeah, let's get into this a little 
up. It's gonna go for a beer run, but I have a minute. Oh shit! Receive Seabird's Tear. This spell will use, this, will use some of your magic to pull a lightning bolt from the sky, hitting one nearby enemy. Sick. Alright, and I just... Okay. Easy enough. There's a faded lightning bolt carved into the stone. Holy shit, did that use a lot of magic, though. Thanks, dead guy. I'm going with the save off and approach. That bird can fuck right off. to take the Sycamore Ferry across the Oak Haven of Yarmouth. No toll or fare. This one's a public service. My tax dollars at work, dog. Chamomile, I believe. Lost Woods? There's a Master Sword. Oh, your magic regens. Well, that's sick. Alright, so I can't do anything with this. Should I try bombing it? Do I want to waste a bomb on this? The answer is no, I should not have wasted a bomb on that. These fucking birds are back. Crab Hook Village. Alright, so... That's where I got that. All right, so I can go back and talk to Ghost Dude now, or I probably don't even need to. All right, so I don't really care about that. Um, actually, where's my map? It's on a crab hook, so Spruce Head is still more left. All right, so let's just continue heading that way then, because that's where we're going.
sign doesn't tell me anything. Bring me some supplies, have a look at my stuff. Buy a pack of berries. Is that a three? For 12 crowns? Shit, yeah. That might be useful. I don't want to spend that much crowns, though. Stephen skin, burly blade. Right. You do realize it's not a better deal. Whatever. I think we're good for now. It's in that one. Volunteer Navy member, huh? Some folks post notices on the wall where they're looking for help with your kind of thing. Emergency, I found a totally real treasure map and I'm looking for partner to help me search for treasures. Come visit Dustin for details. I don't think his name is actually Dustin, but I also was not listening. Um, some fishermen have reported being run off by some sea creatures recently when they fish south of town. If anyone thinks they can deal with a monster, come see me. Dan Lee in the tavern here. I'm behind you in the corner across the room drinking. Oh, you're in the volunteer navy? I'm the village's mayor. Think you can help me out with something? I can pay you. Sure. As if there wasn't enough to worry about in this town, some creatures started attacking fishermen who venture south of the village onto the shoal. I don't know details. Yeah, let's just go south and slash it. Stop that! I just wanted to try to talk to the fisherman. I swear that's all I wanted to do. But nah, it's good. I'll, I'll just fucking roll right in. Dustin. Not Dustin. Alright. Uh, Brecken Branch Island. Gold jewels. But I'm super old. And I need someone to do the actual fetching of it for me. Haunted Island, yeah. Yeah, give me the fucking map. Whatever. Why not? Haunted ass island? Sure. Well, that fucking sucked. God, this is brutal. What kind of glitched out ass shit was that? I 
fucking haunted giant snails. A bunch of bullshit. Okay, this sounds terrible. Um. Okay, so don't touch the purple shit. Why did you think a treasure map? Some pirate was willing to trade for three squid, but actually leaked a treasure. Because we're all... Good point. Thanks. Get you a Diet Coke or something, my dude. Supposed to get south of town. I was searching somebody's old set of armor got tangled up in the net. It looks a bit better than yours. You want to buy it for 150 crowns? Yes. Buy the fishy armor. Yeah, I see that look. The market here in Crab Oak is pretty sad. You want to know where to find good stuff yet? Yeah, well, I'll tell you a secret. Files Harbor, the pirate market. I know how to get there. It's on the lowdown because, you know, it's full of pirates. So if you go southeast down to the Forest of Tides, there's a tunnel that'll take you to Bell's Harbor. That's cool. That's good to know. So how the hell am I supposed to go south or whatever a town to fight the whatever? Monster bait, huh? Monster bait? That definitely, definitely didn't have anything to do with what was... Don't trust China! China is asshole! It is very, very true. Alright, I'm looking for a shoal with like spruce trees and a bottle of monster bait or something. Ow, 
son of a bitch. Alright, so if you have four hearts, it gives you three when you come back to life. That's good. Ah, for Uh, well, Link's a girl, so... Link's also mildly, uh, had a few head injuries, let's put it that way. Woman, hey you, help a girl out. These monsters have me pinned in here. Alright, well, I don't want to, but OW! You know what? Why did it like- So I have a lightning spell that's supposed to uh, shoot the enemy. That's what it says. So I hit the lightning spell button. Cast. Look where it landed. Look, look. Look over there. That's where it landed. To the right. Far right of the screen. Killed an enemy over there. Where am I? Right there. Getting my head bludgeoned in by a demon from hell. There. Yeah. Ow. Hey, Mike. This game is fucking stupid. I would like to point out that whoever thought it was a great idea to have your roll mechanic give you no iframes is a moron. Okay, so I can just lightning his ass from across the room, but close don't even expect it to attack the right one you found the eye of a monstrosity it's unattached to anything you feel like you're being watched ow this better have been worth it hey thanks that was a tight spot I'm Lily of Lily's deliveries all right Amazon Prime got it oh deliveries oh, Jesus Ugh. So really, is the uh, the old snip snip that unreliable? Uh, medical doctor's lying. There, that's never ever happened. Uh, hey, I want you to do something for you since you really rescued me there. If you see me around, come talk to me. I'm always sailing, so I can sell you around to anywhere I've been or even places I haven't been. If you bring me a sea chart, I like traveling. All right, thanks. If I see you around, I'll be sure to catch up with you. East, uh, Forest of Tides, South Lotus Shoal. That's where I think we're going for now. What? What the fuck hit me? God. Don't trust China! China is asshole! Does that mean I have to resave her? God, I hope not. 
deaths in this game aren't too punishing. Uh, the combat is horrendous, though. Like, it's so bad. Alright, we saved Lily. West, Lotus Shoal, Spruce Head, South, Limestone Island. Do I have anything to do on Limestone Island? Oh, that's where we're from. I'm an idiot. So I want to go west, so... Alright, we're on Lotus Shoal. Right. First, let's eat a couple berries. supposed to do something on Leather Shoal, but I don't have a quest for it. That's weird. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna explore. Do the explorer thing. Yeah, the sound design in this is actually really good. The, there's only one particular sound I don't like. All right, whatever the fuck that green death effect is, is just murder. There's such an input delay on the sword, though. Yeah, death isn't super punishing, so it's not that bad, but... The combat's just awful. You get, like, there's a really bad delay to it, and there's a ton of fucking knockback. And did you see how hard it was for me to cut that bush? Like, just the hit detection is sketch. Alright, so I can walk through shallow water. My chat screwed up. Alright. Fuck is that? And the action button is the roll button. So you have a, like, convenient little roll that gives you no iframes. And it's the same as your action button, so if you're trying to action, sometimes you'll just jump into the water. Supposed to be able to jump that? I have no idea what to do with that. <sighs> Bro, it's so bad. The door is locked. Shocked. There's 
something around here that I'm supposed to be finding, like a jar for monster bait. Yeah, monster bait. Something about a spruce tree, I don't know. Sunken Palace? And I'm guessing I need like the Megaton Hammer to get here. Down that cherry tree. Apple tree, whatever. Yeah, if my stream gets taken down, it's because I said the words Megaton Hammer. That is for sure. Spruce head. Alright, okay, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing in Spruce Head? The hourglass pirates were seen looting Spruce Head. Investigate Spruce Head. Alright. Traveler. Didn't think anyone cared for the old shrines anymore. Pirates freely pillaging pillaging them. Pirates freely pillaging them. Is that even really a statement? Whatever. Or are you just some young upstart monster fighter trying to prove your worth? Are you taking shots at Link directly now? Or... Oh no. I, uh, I totally cared about the ancient shrines. Uh, yeah. What did they used to do here? Am I right? What did they used to do here? Am I right? That's not... Alright, whatever. Hmm. Spruce Head Shrine once sent out saplings grown from the Divana tree, and here uh, lay the king's amulets given to the given to Heron to allow him passage through the storms to the palace. After the monks died in the Great Flood, my forefathers continued to guard the king's amulet even as the shrine decays and returns to the forest. Well, until those pirates showed up and sacked the place. Stole the king's amulets. I'm still hanging out here, but I'm honestly not sure why. Nice work. That sounds rough, buddy. Uh, look, so, uh, just, uh, actually, uh, hear about the pirates. Uh, what flag were they flying? Hourglass flag, maybe? Yeah, it was the hourglass crew. One of their ships hit a rock in the bay as they were leaving. If you head deeper into the shrine, you can get to the shipwreck. There's a shipwreck in the shrine? Watch out for the monsters, though. This palace is, place is getting dangerous. Palace, place, whatever. Thank you. I'm going to go check out the shipwreck, see if I can find a clue about where the pirates went. Uh, just as a story update, um, the pirates have abducted my little sister, and my dad went to find them, and I can't find either one of them. Okay. It's uh, time to Zelda a little bit.
All right, actually, let me throw a pause up and a BRB. I'm going to grab another beverage and then we will continue with some Zelda-ing. Joseph did. No, but I did wake up in bed and I uh, am noted amongst my family as sleeping too much. Not a joke. Uh, anyway, be right back, grab me a beer. Where, why, why, why? I have no controller. Oh, son of a bitch. Plug it and plug it back in. Unplug it, plug it back in. All right. Um. Yeah, okay. So let's do some Zelda. -ing. No, it's uh, X Bone. The uh. The PS5 controller works with PC, but the X-Bone just has a little bit better support on Steam for right now. This game's controller support is not great. Like, you can't... You have to remap everything in Steam. You can't do it in the game, and it's just... I don't know. It's not great. Oh, on the key. All right. Oh, oh. I'm guessing the dungeon treasure here is whatever clears that shit out. Yeah, and like, if you notice, so in the bottom right corner, it's hard to see over the overlay there, but it says like D back. It's like. It doesn't even change like the graphics or anything if you have a controller plugged in it works but it just assumes you're using a keyboard it's not ideal but i mean one guy developed the thing so what <coughs> i just got fucking smoked
Can I do anything with these blue flowers? Right, they don't seem to give me anything. There's also like resource gathering for crafting in this game. Um, let's go this way for. Can you jump off of here? So, if you notice top left, I there is a heart meter. Um, you use food to refill it, so it's kind of like Breath of the Wild-ish. Um, so you got berries that do half a heart, apples that do two hearts, and bread that does five, and then a magic pot, spell, and bombs, and then a bunch of crafting shit, which I assume makes potions and whatnot. I don't, I haven't had anything, I haven't had enough of any to actually do any of that yet. You received a stone skin potion. Drink this from the menu. It will take half damage for four minutes. So, boss fight potion. Can't drop down from there. Alright, I need still whatever to get through that. There's like a bag. A bunch of bags. Right. More bags than... The Ohio State football team. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, it's a great Deku tree. Um, is that all that's over here? Yep. No, nah, this feels like Oko, though, I'll tell you that. I also went to some shrine earlier that. I hit some bell, and it gave me some sort of power, but I don't know what that power is. And it made the enemy stronger. But I don't know what the power is, so I don't know what the point was. What the fuck is this? Lightning the switches? No. Can I bomb the switches? No, there is no, like, spin attack or... I think that would have worked if I'd have put the bomb in the right spot. Like... Yeah, that was the lightning button. You dumb, 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 dumb. No! If I used two, that was a bad idea! Good call last second. Wasted a bomb, but that worked. Whoa! What the? I hit him, it did nothing. Bro. So like earlier there was a gate that was blocking me from this. Okay, so that gate's still there. So those switches have nothing to do with all the gates, just that one.
I mean, there's still time. That doesn't do anything. Alright, sick. So all this did was give me a room with some berries. Let's go try this bullshit again. Um, so we can fill up. Maybe I'll try zapping his ass. What is going on here? I kind of want to walk through this just to see what in the fuck. That stone skin pot, but like fucking half damage? What the fuck's that gonna do? Let's see if there's more this way that I could get to. Alright, so once we beat that dude in that room, we come down here to this dock. It doesn't appear to be, because I, the lightning bolt didn't appear to do anything, and hitting him didn't appear to do anything. It made the kind of like, you know, tank negative damage noise. This motherfucker's throwing lightning bolts in his own ass. That appeared to do nothing. Okay, that damaged him. So this dude can only throw firecrackers at himself. He is Jason Pierpol. Alright, we got a key. Alright, there's a key in that one room a ways back. You don't even have time to think. Fuck. So yeah, that room, but we can't go that way. Yeah, this is essentially Oko with three hearts anyway. So I'm gonna go this way. Down.
Big chest. Big chest is good. Okay. So. We activate this. And that shoots his own projectiles back at him. Oh, and because... <laughs> just because I, I, I want this to be on record. Menu is the left bumper. So, if my menuing and everything seems absurdly stupid, it's because it's left bumper. Come in here, we'll come in low, roll as soon as we get into the room, and turn on the fucking barrier. That's the plan. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh! You have to time it! Oh, this is stupid. This is so stupid. Okay, catch my breath. Hold on. Alright, let's go. The one he got off after I killed him was gonna kill me. Wow. All right. That was insane. Don't jump in the water. <sighs> Looks like the ship's logbook. September 15th. Finally found that amulet Blackbeard sent us after. Blackbeard, really. We can finally return to the hideout, but not before we stop by Briarwood Distillery and put in a new order to celebrate. It's only the finest strength Garmoth can give for the crew that found the amulet. Looks like the Hourglass crew sailed on to Yarmouth. Maybe the people at the distillery know where their hideout is. Thank you for teleporting me out. Okay, nice. Alright, so... Save... need to go to Yarmouth, which I believe is just up. All right. Let's finish exploring this area, then we'll head back to Crab Hook and then up. And Drake Root. There's a cave down there. We can go do something with that. Turn this up down in my headphones a little bit. Hi, it's Lily. Well, 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 if it isn't Tilia. I had a meeting about some cargo here, but the other guy never showed up. Hey, I brought... Hey, you brought me a new chart? Right on. If you want to sail here, just let me know. Anyway, you want to get out of here? Okay, so I can sail... Alright, those are the places I've been so far. Spruce Head... Goat's Head and Limestone. I don't want to do that yet. Alright, but that's good to know. I want to go in this cave, though. You dirty, dirty plant. Why don't I trust that? 20 crowns. gonna keep giving me mandrake fruit. I should just sit there and farm it. But... I'll take those. here. 
rolling is just a terrible idea because you always end up rolling into certain death. Just assuming I can't jump across this, but oh, I can. All right, can I jump across that? I can. Sweet. Didn't know that. Lift. Oh uh, shit. I hit the button. Oh, it puts me all the way back here. Oh. Alright, that's fine. I know my way back there, I think. I don't even know I can jump across these. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I kind of want to go back and undo that uh, quote-unquote curse that I had put on me that I traded for power, question mark. East is goat head, west spruce horse for crow. Actually, I should be like really close. Literally on the same screen, so that's cool, I guess. Um, what's that? I haven't seen that flower before. I want that flower. Oh, it's not a flower, you jerk. cheap. No goat. Where's that well? Timmy, should we go down the well? That's Kakariko Village? the worst that could happen. It starts me right here. Oh, 
no, I'm locked. Damn it. Wait, Mandrake, some monsters are really tough. You might need to come back when you're stronger. Is that that? <laughs> he asked as he got fucking wrecked. Um, yeah, so not gonna go that way. Okay, there's the... Let's go back in there and go the correct quote-unquote direction. my shit <sighs> that's another thing we're gonna do when we go back to town you can use the coral ore to uh, strengthen your bow which I don't have or sword which I do so spoiler alert there's a bow I must have went like south around it or something. What is this? That looks like a place to bomb, doesn't it? That's bread. I haven't found any place to buy bombs yet, so that might be a problem. Get out of here, pixel keys. No! No! <sighs> if death was punishing in this game, I I would be like I would have quit playing it already. Actually, you got salt candles. Throw these, and as they burn, they'll pop several times, damaging enemies. That's weird. know if I'm super keen that I wasted a bomb for that, but alright. Outta here. East, which is turn south, that shows north, Goathead Harbor. Okay, I wanna go north. Fuck outta here. He's another boat. He wants to take me somewhere. I've been here before. I'm not going back to get those monster guts. What was this tree? Oh, that. Alright, I'm back in Crab Hook Village. This isn't where I want to be. Thank you for knocking me into the water, you fucking bird. Where does this go? I've been here. Dude, I'm just trying to get back to that one town. Why is this this difficult? Where does your boat take me? I don't want to go there. Alright, I do want to go there, because I want to go to... Yarmouth, anyway. Fuck it, let's just go there. Oh wait, I have zero control over this. Yo, what up, man? 
Alright, where the fuck am I? <sighs> oh, the monsters are tougher because I'm not already playing fucking Oko? Yay. I have no idea what the correct command for that is. Stonefell Crossroads. I want to go east to Yarmouth. Maybe. Probably. Fuck you! Bolt snail. Alright, whatever, bye. Ah, uh, what the shit. Alright, so how do I get through the. How do I get through rocks? I don't think I could bomb those. I think you can only bomb cracked ones. Top secret hideout of the Dream Cannon crew. Hey, you can't come through here. This is a top secret base of the amazingly tough pirate crew called the Dream Cannons. We'll blow yours up if you mess with us. Okay, then. I pretty much have no idea where I should be going. Don't shit on me, bird. Don't shit on me, bird. No! Stop shitting on me, bird. Bird's an asshole. That's how I feel about it, though. Ouch. That hit me for a fucking ton! Alright, so I s don't think I can get any. Still gonna try to go back to town. That other town that I was trying to get to. Okay, so I still wanna go east from here. Alright. Out of here, bird. order business. Do I have any? Okay, no armor upgrades. That sucks, but I don't know your first name, but it looks like your middle name is Danger. Prove my sword, please. Thank you. 
minutes. That's a good start. Um, out of the way, bitch. Bitch, please. Get out of the way. Now, where is the inn? I want to sleep at the inn. I kind of don't remember where the inn is. That's the warehouse. That is not an inn. That look like an inn? That's an inn. Let's sleep at the inn. What should we be doing here? Alright, so the Sillery is on Yarmouth Island. So we're trying to find that still somehow. We're still trying to find the chart salesperson in Ballast Harbor. And our side quests are... I need to go turn that in. Alright. So we can go back west and turn that in. Oh, what I wanted to, other thing I wanted to do is go east and see if I can turn off this fucking curse. Um, I think it's this way. That's the ghost, dude. I'll take all of these I can get. Oh yeah, I was on the way to the dude's carrot farm or whatever. This map is actually like pretty big. Ow. Stop one-shotting me, fucking starting area enemies. I think it was in here. Yeah, hopefully the goat demon's not back, because if he's back, this is gonna fucking suck. Alright, he's not cool. Let's roll past these jabronis. Cursed temple. Can I get rid of my curse now? Curse broken. Cool. I don't know what the benefits of the curse were, but shit hurt real bad when it hit me. Now I'm gonna run into one of these bats and see how bad it is. Half a heart. That seems better. Okay, so now I just need to find out where the fuck I'm actually supposed to go. Let's talk to some of these, uh, boats. I hate you, you stupid redhead. Actually, I don't think I can talk to any of these boats. So is Lily my only boat option? Oh no, there's, that's Lily, right? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Who was I supposed to who was I supposed to look for with the douchebag with the beard? Is that right? Hold on. Someone saw Mallow and Ballast Harbor, so I need to find Ballast Harbor somehow. 
and I need to get to Yarmouth somehow, and I need to talk to a douchebag in Crab Hook. Oh no, I'm just, Blackbeard was the pirate that's trying to steal the amulet. So we're trying to go to uh, Yarmouth to the distillery to find uh, Blackbeard, who has the king's amulet. That's the that's the lead we're currently on. But I haven't the flippingest fucking idea. Let's go here, and then we'll just go north. Oops, wrong button. We'll see if there's a way like north to some place. I should give myself some health. Um, I did that. This was the temple, right? Yeah. Wrecked. I see your game. Jerk. Oh, and he didn't even give me a drop? What a jerk. Oh, you're all good. Wait, where the hell? Who is this? Oh, snails. I didn't think anyone would find me here. You're not with those pirates on the shoal, are you? No. I stole a key to the fort they built to lock them inside. I don't think any of them can swim. <laughs> My uh, player character fucking swims about as well as the dude from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, I don't know how anyone can swim. It's bad luck. Oh, it's bad luck to swim? Okay, that, that makes perfect sense. That's my whole plan, so okay. It wasn't totally thought through. Since then, I've been waiting here to make sure they don't, like, build a bridge to get out. They haven't yet. What, do you want me to maybe just go beat them up? Beat them up with my sword? So you don't have to wait here forever? Oh, that's way better. Yeah, would you? Here's the key to their fort. You got a fort key. Alright, I think I know where that is. That was back in the shoal, so we gotta go like, down to the right. Tubby. Right, it's down here in the water somewhere. I see you, Mr. Pirate. Does this motherfucker have a cannon? Can I just wait till my magic regen's enough to prize this? Because I might just do that. There's a note here. Captain, Fort Construction isn't going well since we refused to join the Pirate Council. Blackbeard has blacklisted us. If we want to get to Ballast Harbor, we have to find some way there other than sailing. Interesting, because that's where I want to go. Hmm. 
Very smooth camera panning, my dude. Shitty pirates. Oh, big chest. No! What are you doing? Some iframes would be nice. Boomerang! That could be clutch. Um, fuck do I do with it though? That's the question. Oh, I bet I can use it to hit those switches. Blue meringue. Maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe it's not worthless. Ooh, wouldn't count on that. There was somewhere where I just was recently where it had like a switch that I could only hit with that. I feel like it was back. I want to see if that's what it does because if it flips the like switches that I'm thinking then I know where we need to go. I think. Oh, it's just like the Zelda boomerang, it's a stone. I mean, not ideal, but... What is in that cave? I don't remember. Okay, that. Something here I could do with it? I don't think so. Fuck it, let's just try to get to that one place and see if it gives me a thing. I should be able to get a ride from Lilypad. Helps if I hit the right button, you moron. Alright, so I'm gonna go west from here to get on that dude's raft. Taking strangers' rafts is a pastime of mine. Ouch. Dude, hit the fucking button. Um, that's a good question. I don't think so. Okay, the thing that sucks though, and it's why attacking is awkward too, you can only attack in cardinal directions. So like, in Link to the Past, I could throw my boomerang like, up left. I cannot do that here. Will it do anything against Tin Man? No. I think it causes damage though. Is it just a stun or is that damage? Somewhere over here, there's a switch I think I need to hit. I'm just hoping the boomerang works for it. Yeah, I think it's right here. Oh no, the 
that's not what I was... Uh, fuck. I was really hoping that that would be... Uh, Alright, now I don't know what to do again. That's sweet. Can I lightning bolt that fucker? No. Fuck. charge attack for that. Alright, that's awful. <sighs> Alright, I think because I'm kind of stuck at the moment anyway, and uh, I've been going on kind of three hours here, and I need to go get some dinner and have a few drinks and relax, because uh, it's been a long freaking day today so far. Uh, I'm going to call it a night for tonight. So, summary of this game quick, because I like to summarize these new games when I play them. Um, it's a DS Zelda game that is absolutely brutal on enemy damage. It's just one to two hits pretty much on any screen kills you. The combat is kind of wonky from like a modern game where you can attack in like more than cardinal directions, so it's a little awkward. It's not like bad, but it's a little awkward get like some knockback there's some weird stuff it does and there's like some input delay it feels a little weird like the input delay on the movement is fine like speed running this will actually probably be fun because the movement feels pretty good the attack delay is weird um, the story is very weird and there's some glitchy bullshit um, I'm probably gonna give it one more stream to see if it grows on me a little bit I'd give it like a Zelda clone 6 out of 10 like it's probably better than Utopia 2 I don't know but uh, anyway thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit uh, yeah I'll probably if everything goes well I might try to stream a little of this tomorrow if not I'll do some Zelda stuff because I kind of feel like streaming and uh, see how it goes alright thanks